Hey everybody, it's Roland64 here, and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. In the last episode, we did some terrible, terrible mini-games that made me nearly, nearly rip my hair out. And in this episode, we're going to do something required. First, by playing the Nocturne of Shadow that we learned in the last episode. And we're going to warp to the graveyard. Yeah, it, it's not a warp to Kakariko, it's a warp to the graveyard. And actually, right behind us is the Shadow Temple. Which we're not going to go to in this episode. So, yeah. And now I'm going to take a drink of my Die Dr. Pepper that's right here beside me in my bat mug. Ah, delicious. Now, in this episode we're actually going to be taking on a mini dungeon that you have to do as a kid. Um, there are three mini dungeons in this game, and, well, this is the second one, the Ice Cavern being the first. So, you actually have to come into the windmill and speak to this guy. Go around, go around, and around, and around. What fun. I'm so happy. So happy. Ding. Oh. Some of you probably know what that means. I'm a music man who loves to go around and around. Go around and around. I'm trying to come up with a musical theme inspired by this windmill. Going around and around and around. Well, if you remember the last time we came here... Well, it was actually seven years into the future. And he said that a kid came in and played the Song of Storms. And he had an, he had an ocarina. But well, we're a kid, and we have an ocarina, and we know the song. Let's play it. Go around, go around, go around. What? It, it, it's going way too fast. Yes, play the Song of Storms and you get this. Whee! Alright. That would probably make someone sick if I kept doing that, so... But, as you saw in the cutscene, it actually lowered the water in the well. So, we're actually... Well, wait... Dark, narrow, scary. Well of three f feathers. Okay. We're actually going to go down this well, and, s and instead of climbing down, let's do how every gamer does it. And just drop. And you can see we can actually go in the well. So welcome to the mini dungeon. Bottom of the well. The only mini dungeon you can do as a kid. Don't go down the ladder, jump down the ladder. And as you can see, we got one of these guys. But you know what? I'm feeling bored, so I'm just gonna bomb him. And man, I'm getting some lag. Yeah, there's a. That's a way you can easily kill these guys. And as we can see, there's a skeleton here, which is very creepy. Oh. I can hear the spirits whispering in this room. Look for the Eye of Truth. That's what they're saying. This place is very creepy. Yeah. We just went through a wall, by the way. <laughs> and I'm getting major lag. Now, hang on. Is there only one in this dungeon? Good lord, I hope so. There is. 
Yeah. Now that's just awesome. Alright, sorry about that. I was just looking at my guide. Uh, that's not where we want to go. Um, this wall, it says something here. Danger below. That's what it says. Well, what we really want to do is come over here and get out our ocarina on this little Triforce symbol and play... What else but the Royal Family's Tune? Zelda's Lullaby. That actually lowers the water, and probably by having Navi talk, it'll explain. The water flowing out of this statue is flooded... is flooding the entire floor. Yeah. Now, couldn't... no. Oh, we can't do that. Duh! I guess we can go over here. Yeah, this is a pretty creepy place. And it's really easy to get through if you're if you just want to get the item that's here. Um First off you can walk through there. And yeah. whoa, you can fall through there, apparently. Yeah, there's a redead. There's a redead that I'm gonna take care of. It's weird that the Sun Song can stun redeads. I'm just gonna slice it up. Because redeads are very scary. Alright. Um, I actually don't normally come to this room when I play through the game. Let's go up. Let's keep going up. It's got very creepy music. I can hear the spirits whispering in this room. Look for the eye of truth. That's what they're saying. I get the feeling that there's a fake wall here somewhere. Sure if I just... Yep, there we go. That brought us back out here. Alright, let's see. Hang on. Is that where I need to go? Alright, I guess that's what... Alright, well, I kind of screwed up and made... got things out of order. What you're actually supposed to do first is come down here. And then go through this little hole. Alright, if you really just want to take out big sculptures like that, just use a bomb. It's a one-hit KO. And now it's time for a, for a boss. Oh god, oh god, it's grabbing me, it's grabbing me, it's grabbing me, it's grabbing me! Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Meet Dead Hand. Watch out for its infinite hands. Aim for its head. Now as it shimmies on over here, Come on. Alright, then it's gonna run away from you. Then the only way to get it out is to actually get caught by one of its hands. But it's a very easy fight. Uh, be careful, because that attack can hit you.
And I'm just gonna keep using this hand. But seriously, this is a really creepy boss, because these are actually its hands right here. But it's very easy to kill, I believe. If I'm correct... Yeah! If you stand in a specific place, you can actually stand on the treasure chest as it appears. Which is very cool. Unfortunately, we have to get off of it. And I'm glad I could show that in this Let's Play. We got the lens of truth. Okay, shut up. Just shut up, man. Gosh. You're so annoying. Alright, so let's... get the camera behind the treasure chest. Uh, so yeah, the Lens of Truth. Basically, it will reveal if there are fake walls. Which is really good. So it's not a guessing game. And really, that's the first thing you want to go for when you go through this dungeon. You know, once you lowered the water level, that's actually what you want to do. And you get bombs. Um, I'm looking at my guide right now because I know that there's a Skulltula in here. Um, for from what this guide is telling me, there's a Skulltula in. Oh, no, yeah, there are. There's one Skulltula. Oh, good lord. Oh, that's oh, oh my gosh. No, it's it's okay, guys. Uh, so, all right. Heck, do I get to that? Oh well, I'll figure it out. But I am gonna get that sculptula now, so that I don't have to come through here again. Cause on some dungeons that we've been through, I'm I am gonna have to go through them again, like just walk through them again, so that I can get some sculptulas that I missed. So, um, putting on the Lens of Truth slowly consumes your magic, but it's okay. Actually, in there is where we want to go, but we can't get to there yet. And now, we actually see that there's a hole there that's not there. There's a hole that's there that's not there if we use the Lens of Truth. And this takes us back in here. With the redeads. Or dead. Sorry. Redead. Oh, I'm gonna play some bombs right there. And that sounds like a good thing. Whoa, that's a redead. Oh, dude, let me get the treasure chest. This is probably like the compass or the dungeon map. Really, when I normally go through a play. When I play a normal playthrough of this game, I just leave once I get the Lens of Truth. I don't normally bother with Skulltulas or anything. But because this is a Let's Play, and I want to do it 100%, I am going to do it just for you guys. And I just thought of something. Can a bomb kill a redead? Aww. Oh well, I tried. Okay. Thanks, Redead, for making me invulnerable, and this did nothing. For making me in invincible against that bomb. Thanks, you dummy. Just shut up, man. And, wow. Hey, guys, look at the right on the... Never mind. I was going to say the bottom right corner of the screen at the map, because it looked like a one of those Wallmaster hand things, and it looked really creepy. But it's too late for that now. 
And we're just back up here. Okay, hang on. Oh, right. That, that place. Sorry. sorry, sorry. I forgot a place. That's... That's not likely the way I want to go. Oh, gosh. Jeez. Alright, do you want yourself to be blown to smithereens by a freaking bomb? And I missed. Do oh, I missed! Oh. Alright, you know what? Suicide! Or not. <laughs> Gosh. Alright, I still have my lens. Whoa! My lens of woe. The lens of woe are evil, apparently. Alright. Hang on. Shut up, you stupid redhead. I'm trying to climb. Alright, hang on. Okay guys, so we're back here in the front room, and let's go over here, and be, uh, be interrupted by our dang fairy, and I'll see you guys in a minute. Oh, hey guys, uh, looks like I found a little area here. And I got a key. Okay, I guess we're cutting back in now. Uh, where was I? Alright, I'm just gonna let the wall mass, the f ceiling master. F is he not gonna fall? Oh, there we go. Ah. Ha ha! Yeah, not gonna fall for that one again. I fell for that one again! Hang on. I cancelled out your scream of death! Ha ha! Ha ha! Cutting away. Alright, so we've fallen down, like, what, five times now, all for this freaking Skulltula? And that's the only thing left in this little mini dungeon that I need to get. A freaking Skulltula. Dropping. You little... You know there we go. Finally, the bomb killed it. Oh. Oh, all that for a Deku nut. How do I get over here? 
You know what? That's probably nothing anyway. God, I don't even know where I'm supposed to go. Wow. Wait, what now? Okay, we'll just do that. You know what? Okay, this is how you're supposed to get the compass. Just walk through that wall right there. And so we got the compass. Whoop de doo. And this is the next place you want to go. Oh, I thought there was water there. Oh, wait. Dude. Oh, that's a recovery heart. I don't really need it, but okay. I'll take it. So now, let's go in here. And what we actually want to do... Let's get out a Deku Stick! Actually, what we really want to do first... Get out our Ocarina! And sure, I'll save. Since I'm successfully recording. And will this work? That does work! This is a Gibdo! Its gaze will paralyze you if it bites you. Tap any button to escape. I'm not gonna bother fighting that. Actually, you know what? Yeah, I am. In the funnest way I know how. Blazing fire. And that did the trick. Oh, now these mummies are coming out, and that's weird. What is going- Am I being- Am I being hurt? I'm being hurt in the cutscene! What the- Huh? Didn't we already see that? <sighs> Did I break the game? What happened? Okay. I'll roll with it. I guess. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> oh boy. I'm actually gonna paralyze the Gibdos so that they're not in my way. Dude. Alright, I paralyzed that one. Dude! Here, let's... Let's get out the Hylian shield since my Deku shield is gone. Crap. They're pretty much just stronger re Stronger re -deads. Stupid bat. Oh, well, thanks, Mr. Keys. Wow. 
Um, I didn't want to do this, but we're going to have to stop here. So, next time on The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time, we will continue the dun the mini dungeon and hopefully find the freaking Sculptula. See you guys then. It's Ron64 signing off.